Hello and welcome to this year's premiere episode of Panther News, Beverly High School's news program dedicated to bringing you the ins and outs of Beverly High School. My name is Adelaide Maloney. Let's get into this episode. remote learning. Just as the dust started to settle, the switch to the hybrid was announced. So how did VHS students feel about being in person? Claire Pax decided to find out. On September 29th, students took to the hallways of VHS for the first time in six months and two weeks. I wondered how students and teachers were adjusting to hybrid learning here in Beverly. Coming back to school can be crazy for both staff and students, especially during a pandemic. We started hybrid learning here at BHS on September 29th. Whether you're trying to find the right Google Meet or the right staircase, it can be really confusing. I spoke to BHS sophomore Paige Waller about how going hybrid was for her. So my first question is, how was your first day of school coming back into the building? It was good and I think everything was labeled really well so I knew where to go and I didn't really have any trouble figuring out like which staircases were up and which were down and like which direction to go in and how to get to my class. Was, was it how you expected or was it different? It was pretty much how I expected. Okay and then secondly do you like online um, learning or in-person learning better? I like in-person better. Um, and then like kind of off of that, which one is one of them easier than the other? I think online is probably easier maybe. Actually, I don't know. I think they're both the same level, level of difficulty. Okay, and then were you nervous coming back into school like with the rest of the students in the building? Um, the only thing I was nervous about was not knowing what to do, but like it was labeled well and I ended up actually knowing what to do so that's good. And lastly, how long do you think hybrid will last? Like what are your expectations for that? Um, depending on if like COVID spikes up again in the winter, I'm just assuming it will last the whole year. But like maybe it will change in some ways, but I think it will last the whole year. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. I sat down with Miss Richardson, an English teacher here at BHS, and talked about online learning versus in person. How was your first day coming back um, with students in the classroom at BHS? The first day, so that was last Tuesday, it was great to see students in the classroom. It was just nice to have people back in a fairly normal situation. It was good. Yeah, okay. And then did it run as smoothly as you hoped it would? Was it better or worse than your expectations? Um, I think it, it was better than my expectations. I thought it would be, I didn't know what to expect. Um, but again, the students were great. Um, everything worked as smoothly as it could, I think, given, you know, all the circumstances. It, it has turned out better than I thought it would. Do you like teaching in person or online better? Um, I like teaching in person better. I mean, given, you know, given the choice, we'd rather a normal circumstance, we could do activities and work in groups and um, move around. And then do you think for, you know, students uh, working in person or online, which like work wise, which do you think they're producing better results? Students have risen to the occasion. People have been really good about it um, and responsible about it. So it might be a little bit earlier, to, early to say which is better, I think, at this point. Hybrid learning has ups and downs, whether it be in person 
or online. Take our Twitter survey about online versus in-person learning at Panther News 22. Whether in school or out of it, VHS students recently had the opportunity to try out for this year's fall play, Alice in Wonderland. The Sage Wright Drama Club, advised by English teacher Mary Biggis, has elected its first student officers to help lead production during this strange time. Leia Katz has more. The invigorating sound of applause from a welcoming audience is enough to draw almost anyone to the theater. But this year, the stages are dark. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, all theater productions at VHS have been put on hold since the spring, shutting down the musical mid-tech week and leaving sets abandoned. But over the summer, two students have taken the initiative to maximize the presence of theater in students' lives this year. The new Stage Right Drama Club was organized by juniors Kira Marr and Keegan Donahue, who now serve as president and vice president of the club. They've been involved in every production here at VHS since their freshman year, and their favorites include Cinderella and the importance of being earnest. I sat down with them recently, at a safe 10-foot distance, to learn more about the story behind this club. It was a little bit confusing at first, but there is no drama department. It's only the Stage Right Drama Club. And we emailed Miss Vegas and, sa and she said that she's always wanted to do it like this. Sometimes it gets like mixed in with the music department, like because some of the same kids do music and drama, but we're really our own little separate club. I've always felt that it should be something more like this with like student leaders. So, the Stage Right Drama Club is the only drama organization here at BHS. But what exactly will it do this year? I think the goal is to just have students running the show more. We're definitely trying to branch out like a little bit more. One of my biggest things I want to do is just have people see what other people do. It's always been very cast and crew separate. I want to, I want to kind of just bridge the gap between that. And of course, it can't be easy making this effort during the pandemic. The biggest challenge was definitely trying to think of ways to make sure everybody's still safe. Obviously, we have to stay apart and wear masks, but I think that's going to be our biggest challenge, is just making sure everything runs smoothly. And what do students think? Maya Cormier is one of the few seniors in the club who has also been involved in all productions since her freshman year. She now serves as the club's public relations officer. I think it's a great idea. I feel like... Uh, it'll help us be as organized as we can be as a group. And Stage Right has big ambitions for this year and beyond. I hope that this club makes people excited about going to school. It's not allowed to be as like physically close as it used to be. I'm hoping that it'll give kids, especially like freshmen who are new to the school and maybe this is their only club, um, they can feel a little togetherness. It really just takes a lot of stress away, and that's just what we're trying to do in like the safest way possible. So, what happens next? I think we should make like our social media presence known a little bit. Really make a more established club, branching out to like kids who are maybe on the fence, like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Like, I don't know anyone, but this is like one of the best places to come to make friends. So, really, just making it more of an established club. I hope that it continues like this. I truly believe in us. I think we can make something happen. Stage Right will work hard to have a successful year, and everyone will be relieved when we can take our masks off and put our costumes back on.
COVID-19 preparations in place, the greatest challenge for teachers is finding a way to teach students successfully via Google Meets or with just 15 minutes in person done every three days. Panther News caught up with some of our newest instructors to hear what they had to say. Caddy Chaconia is one of the two art teachers new to BHS, having recently taught for a quarter at Groton Dunstable Regional High School. My experience teaching remotely has definitely been a roller coaster. Um, I did have experience at my last school teaching remotely in the spring, um, so I, I've had a little bit of ups and downs with it, but of course with the start of the year, it, it's been different. Um, just when you felt like you were kind of getting in the groove during that week one and two, um, then we switched to this. So just as students are probably adapting during these times, especially as a new teacher here at BHS, I'm taking one day at a time. Folks now are creating digital portfolios this semester because we cannot have kids physically turning in papers because of COVID protocols. But the kids have a lot of work in these already. Um, so we started with simple about the artist slides. Folks started with the upside down drawing and vase drawing, which has to do with how our brain works when we are creating drawings. We talked about what art is because it's so diverse and art is something different to everyone. We then took on our Peace Day project. Peace Day was September 21st. We discussed not only the concept of peace, but the concept of justice. Students then went through a planning process for their final piece. We now are diving into the elements of art, so students are doing research about those. They are finding artists online through research. And they are creating zines to showcase their understanding of the elements of art. It's, it's been a roller coaster, and I really do take it day by day because you just never know what's going to happen in this world. And I think it's important, like, I've been learning ways to find peace with that in myself. Um, as a teacher, of course, I'm very planning oriented, um, but I'm, I'm learning to become like water and just guide through as the world changes and I have to adapt. In our class, students wear masks and follow along with Chaconia's teaching. On the opposite side of this teaching spectrum, Brandon Sousa is a first year BHS teacher teaching world mythology and U.S. history. So it's been interesting. Uh... I was thinking about how when I was uh, in grad school getting my master's in teaching, we often talked about how technology should support what we do in the classroom and not replace what we do in the classroom. These past couple months have sort of put that, or turned that on its head. Uh, so we really had to learn how to do an entire class online. But fortunately, uh, Beverly High School and Beverly School District has been really fantastic about providing resources, training teachers on how to be most effective while teaching online. So there definitely have been, uh, you know, challenges, but fortunately, I think that we were as ready as we could be. And that's all for today's show. Be sure to join us next week for the second episode of Panther News. I'm Ellie Maloney. Have a wonderful day. Do you remember what life was like before March of 2020? But then, it all stopped. An outbreak of this coronavirus is the, the coronavirus has changed life as we know it across America. But how do we stop the spread of coronavirus? It's easier than you think. Wear a mask. It's that easy. That mask will save lives. That mask will stop the spread of coronavirus. And soon enough, life will be back to normal.